Hey everybody, what's up? It's some type of artist, and welcome back to Let's Play Hadamari Namasi. Will you stop moving without me telling you to? Uh, in the last one, we, uh, well, you know. <laughs> Spoiler alert, in the last one, it's probably gonna be the same thing as we did in any other video. So, let's just keep going already. Let's make a star five. Anything else here? This globe thing is interesting. It's small, but you can still manage to find where you need to go. I do prefer just, like, a list of levels you could select, though. In situations like this. I... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever been to the Netherlands? I've been to the Netherlands. We stopped in the day before yesterday. We hope you can visit during the day's rolling. Like, that's possible. Oh yes, almost forgot. A real present for the hardworking prince. That's what we were thinking, but it got swiped right off of us on Earth. Pickpocketed during the morning rush hour. Very well done, too. Must be around somewhere, so roll it up while you're at it. Alright, so make a sort of five. Let's see. Oh, this is confusing. At 45 centimeter barrier, turn right, roll over green fence, launch from roof to hit crow with present. So that means we're in the town? Yeah, we're in the town. Kind of should be 1.5 meters. A relaxed 1.5 meters at that. We can believe in you for 12 minutes in Earth time, but any longer than that, and even the king of all cosmos can't be expected to wait. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, so let's get going. Start off on a dog this time. Oh, this song. So this was like the one song that I really didn't care for when I was replaying this game last week. This week. I don't know. Where are we in space and time right now? <laughs> So not, not that there's anything wrong with it, it's a very video gaming sounding song, but when you have all these other songs with like lyrics in them and honestly they just feel more like actual songs rather than video game music, hearing something like this, and then especially for like 12 minutes, feels like, I don't know, maybe this could have been one of those early level songs where the stages lasted like 4 minutes, but I don't know, we are kind of stuck with it for... A while, so let's hope I can get some decent commentary in here to make up for it. So how is everybody doing today? This is the fourth video I'm doing in a row, so I'm probably gonna stop after this one and call it a day. Um, I did want to do some more today, other than just record this. Honestly, all I really want to do is work on that cross-stitch project I started. See, I've been collecting, um, I, I just recently kind of really got into Scott Pilgrim over the last year. I know it's, you know, pretty late getting into Scott Pilgrim of all things, but, you know, it was something I was really interested in getting into from when it, like, was first released, or maybe not quite far back. I actually I don't even know when it was first released, but from, from around, like, 2007, I think, is the first time I saw it in the store. Picked it up, read the first page, and thought that was hilarious. Um, even though it's kind of creepy, looking back at it now. <laughs> but, um... I never got into it for one reason or another. Or other. I, uh... I was borrowing a couple volumes from a friend at one point a few years ago, and then I was reading them at the library. And then, I don't know, I never finished it. I got as far as, like, book three, I think. So... On the many, list of many things I want to buy and collect for myself, I put the Scott Pilgrim full-color books on, uh, on my list, and over the past year, I've been picking them up. Um, so, I just finished getting the last one the other day, so I've just been really wanting to reread the whole series again. And I saw this one picture that was pixelated and thought, this would make a cool Perler thing to do. And then I remembered, hey, you know what? Scott Pilgrim, the video game that is no longer available because dot dot dot, that was pixelated, wasn't it? Let me go see if there's sprites for that, and sure enough, there were. So, one creative thought led to another, and, you know, it, what ended up happening was I wanted to do my favorite character, Kim Pine, doing a quote that said, uh, if your life had a face, I would punch it. As a cute, snarky cross-stitch project instead. So, that's what I'm working on now. I spent, like, literally all day working on it yesterday. Uh, my body was, like, super sore from work the day before, so it was, you know, 
it suited me just fine. I think I took like a little break to take my dog out to the park. In which some guy was like, I, I swear, waiting for me to finish circling around the park before going home himself to tell me that there has been like, someone was had their car broken into and there's like glass all over the uh, the ground that I didn't notice when I came in like the past weekend or so. I guess there's like a problem with drug addicts stealing money. I don't know if how I don't know the truth to that or not. I'd like to think that the park I go to is pretty safe, but you know, there has to be something wrong with everything in the world, so who knows. Um I tried looking up an article online to see if it was ever reported, but I didn't find anything. So, I don't know, I probably may stay away from that park for a little while. There's three parks I usually take my dog to or go to by myself to walk around in. Um, oh, hold on. Was that the 40 size centimeter barrier? Okay, let me see. I don't. I, I didn't write down if I had to be a certain size or not, so I'm gonna actually go over there now and uh, see. Maybe hurry up a little bit. You know, if I, I don't knock into something, that would be great. But uh, there's three parks nearby, which I'm very thankful for, because when I first moved here, I really thought there was nothing but, like... Well, I really thought there was just, like, nothing. Uh, hold on, what? Turn right? Go over the green fence? Like, this one here? Oh, uh, well, I'm falling now, so... Hopefully it meant at the end of the road here. Uh, anyway, so I, I don't, I've got a few places to go to bring my dog instead. The problem is I like this one particular park because it's not very big and my dog has a problem uh, moving around. Uh, well, not moving around, but he is, you know, he's getting old. He's like 14, 15. It's probably, as much as I hate to say it, it's probably his last year or two. So, he can't, he's, you know, he gets excited to go out and go for walks and go outside and stuff like that. He really can't keep up for it like he used to. Like, I used to be able to walk with him for like an hour, no problem, but now it's like, I feel like I'm kind of lucky if he survives like 20 minutes without like just collapsing. And the whole me taking him to parks to walk and everything started too because like he would just stop moving all of a sudden when we we're walking down the road when I used to like walk him around the block and I had no idea why I had no idea if there was like a sound somewhere that was scaring him or not because we are by like a naval base um, so you know sometimes you hear like the planes low flying planes and stuff like that but I don't know just every now and then you know, it just kept on getting more and more consistent he would just pause and stop in his tracks and I, I don't know, I don't know if maybe it was like the road itself, like maybe it was like not good on his paws, so I started taking him to like parks where there was like grass and stuff he could walk on instead and that seemed to be better for him. He enjoyed the ride in the car anyway. I guess if nothing else, he always looks forward to a ride in the car, unless we're going to the vet. And he usually knows if we're going to the vet. <laughs> As soon as we pull up, he does not want to get back out of that car. He does not want to go inside. He is very big baby when it comes to the vet, but I hear many dogs are. I've had two dogs. Well, no, technically three, I guess. We had one elderly dog that we adopted when I was in middle school. and Or maybe it was elementary school. I was afraid of dogs when I was a kid, so... But my parents really, really wanted one. Well, my mom specifically really, really wanted one because she's in love with dogs. Um, so, eventually I just had to get over my fear and they found like a nice compromise with this elderly dog that didn't really make a lot of noise and wasn't really intimidating or anything. So that helped me break myself into uh, getting used to dogs. He died when I was in high school, unfortunately, or maybe that was middle school. I can't really quite remember. I remember at some point in high school though we did adopt a dog and we had him for like a few days and that was it because uh because um hold on that's right where I am I don't know where is this crow that's flying around maybe I misunderstood the directions that this thing gave me 
No, I'm not seeing any crow. It's probably further up, but it's gonna be hard to get back up that hill again, though. Um, yeah, we had this other dog we adopted for a few days, and I remember, uh, actually getting a phone call on my old-ass cell phone when I was coming home from school that day. It was weird, because, like, our bus... For whatever reason, something was wrong with our bus, and it, like, broke down. And we were, like, parked on the side of the road, and I remember my dad calling and said they had to give the dog back, because, you know, overnight the dog, like, went and bit my cat. And, like, really freaked him out. And, uh, like, a huge, like, fluff of fur was, like, missing from his tail. That was pretty bad. And we were, me and my sister were both, like, really upset that the dog, you know, disappeared, because we were... I guess we both wanted a dog again, but after that we have our dog that we have right now, and his name is Charlie. He's a precious baby angel, as all dogs are. Except for that one that bit my cat. <laughs> but, uh, he was like... God, I don't, I don't even know if he was like six months old when we first got him, and... You know, I remember... You know, right when we first got him, he used to like... He was so, he jumped on everybody. He loved people so much. Like, he would jump up on my grandmother when he visited, and I remember she would always go like, because she was, like, laughing and afraid at the same time. Uh, he, he can't really do that jumping anymore now, obviously. I mean, he has trouble getting in the car, to be perfectly honest. He can get his front paws up onto the seat, but I have to, like, bend down and grab his back paws and lift him into the car afterwards. Kind of want to get one of those... <laughs> those dog steps, but... Uh, those are expensive, though. It's alright, I don't mind doing that for him. It's just kind of hard seeing how much he used to, like, run around and stuff. Like, part of me always kind of blames moving here, because we don't really have a backyard, so he doesn't, like, have a free space he can run around in. I mean, we do have a backyard, but it's so small that it can hardly be called one. There's no fence. It's more of just like... I don't know. I guess it's like equivalent to the side yard of a house in between someone else's property. Except it's in the back of your house instead of the side. So, you know, we have like a leash chained into the ground there, so we'll put him on the leash. He can go within like the leash's distance to do and make his business and sit outside and stuff, but... That's about it, and I always, like, hated that, because I felt like that's when I started noticing him just not doing as much, and it's because, you know, he, you know, wasn't getting his exercise. He was used to running around a bigger backyard and stuff like that, but, uh, I don't know. You know, I, I, I that was the point when I really started making sure I was walking my dog every day. Um, because I, I don't think I really walked my dog too, too much. Uh, at my old house. That was something my mom usually wanted to do. So, you know, we t she took care of that, but... Um... Dang, dude. I don't know about this green fence thing they were talking about, and I can't really get back up here again. So, I guess we're gonna miss this present. I mean, we could always go back for it, but, like I said, casual run. Casual runs are best because you can screw up and it's not a big deal. <laughs> um... But yeah, I don't know. I used to go start jogging with him, too. That was fun, but he can't really do that too much. He's got, like, old man dog lumps now. But, anyway, I do want to take him out again today. It's very rainy, though. It, it snowed overnight a little bit, but it's almost all disappeared now. It's pretty big. We imagine it'll make a pretty big star. Yeah, yeah. Could have done better on that one. Oh well. Just as you can see though, these Katamaris are getting bigger and bigger, and they result in bigger and bigger stars. They'll always be like this though. In in future games, they'll actually have their own unique appearances. Slow the way his eyes like blink and he has like no words. Mm, I know, I <laughs> oh boy. Alright. No prison on that one. I don't want to wear the duck anymore though.
what do, what do we get? I guess we'll do the chef's hat again. I'll wear the scarf a while on my last playthrough. Alright, so what do we have now? We don't have too much time left in the episode. We have Make Corona Borealis, or we have Make a Star 6. Well, Make a Star 6 is gonna take some time, so hopefully this will be like another five minute one. Corona Borealis actually has a present, and it's under the bridge in the stream that we were just at. So this is in the town again. It's not gorgeous. The sky is not gorgeous at all. A starry sky, and it still manages to look shabby. It has none of the beautatious, maximal gorgeousness of our crown. Oh, is this the one we roll up a bunch of crowns? This one's weird. Oh, it's blinding. Amazing, amazing. The earth looks amazing today. What's this? Crowns everywhere. We are super shocked, feeling super lucky. Let's roll them all up before somebody shows up. Get as many as you can and make as crown-studded a Katamari as you can for a beautiful constellation, for a super fab, gorgeous sky. These crowns must belong to someone, there are just too many. If a likely person shows up, we'll make a getaway to the Great Cosmos. <laughs> In the meantime, we have eight minutes. Alright, that's a fair episode then, I think. So if you're new here, I do like to keep my episodes around the 20 minute mark. Usually between 15 and 25 minutes, if I had to say. Uh, usually, actually, because, mostly, one of my biggest pet peeves about Let's Plays now is that so many of them are just way too long. And it's not that I don't enjoy the long episodes, but when you're doing something like a daily upload, like a Let's Play, it, it does get harder for me to uh, keep up with them. Like, it's something I'll... I can easily catch up with if I'm, like, watching in a playlist at a later time when I'm, like, you know, having it on the background to do something, but, uh... But... Eh, I, I don't know. Just for my, like, my daily videos, if I do sit down with YouTube and see who uploaded what today, you know, I have just noticed in the past few years I have been skipping all of these Let's Plays that I, by people I usually really love, but I mean, like... And it's not that I don't even always have time for it, but it's like, there are other things I just want to do rather than give my full attention to like a daily 45 minute video across like several people. So that's why I do like shorter episodes because I feel like it's a lot more manageable to keep up with like a 20 minute video than a 40 minute one. But that's just me. I'm also like an adult doing adult things. I'm um, not, like, a kid in school that maybe has more time. Not to, like, say kids in school have infinite amount of time, because a lot of people in school are consumed with their own activities and their own lives and stuff like that, but just for me personally, you know, and I assume for many people, too, the free time you have when you're a kid is obviously more than when you're an adult. But, anyway... This song's really nice, too. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, though. But, uh... Yeah, I should really start... I should really think about the, uh... That thing to put the music down in the lower left or something. Maybe not lower left, because all those things show up. I don't know where I would put it. Well, like I was saying, though, with my video editing software, I can't keep it on the screen for... You know, the entirety of the level, so... I don't know. I guess we'll see. Oh god, are we only at 95 sending? Well, we started at 55. I, I noticed that I wanted to say something after I finished talking, but we started at 55 centimeters and, and uh, 5 meters. So that was like 555. Five, five. Anyone out there ever see Interstellar 55555? Five, 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 five? That was by, uh, that was like an animated movie of Daft Punk's album. Uh, what was it called? Discovery, I think. I used to really like that a lot. I remember seeing it on Toonami in 7th grade. 7th grade was like around the first time I started like really recognizing anime and wanting to get into it. I don't think it was until 8th grade that I actually acted on it though, but I remember seeing those videos on Toonami and looking them up on Toonami's website and uh, just watching them over and over and over again. They had like the first four, I think. A uh, little more time. Um, 
shoot, what's that one called that didn't really have lyrics in it that came right afterwards? God, I forgot all their song names now. Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger was the last one. And then, um... What was the one that came before that? What? I went under the bridge today. Is there a second bridge? Oh, or is it over here? There it is. Um, Digital Love. I really like Digital Love a lot. Aerodynamic. That was that second one I couldn't think of. But yeah, I got that album in college then. Afterwards, all the way in college. Long after I saw the actual whole of Inner Star 55555. <laughs> I remember I had a friend that people called Bookie for some reason. That I think, now that I think of it, I think I mentioned him on this channel before. He was the one that let me that DVD. If I ever see it in the store again, I'll pick it up. It's not something I think about too, too often. But it wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind seeing it again. I should check if it's on Hulu, actually. I just uh, signed up for Hulu, and I'm really enjoying it a lot more than Netflix. I just finished watching, uh, or I guess listening to, is more appropriate, <laughs> the entirety of King of the Hill again, and I freaking love King of the Hill, man. <laughs> I really do. Uh, yeah, something I'm kind of seeing more lately is uh, a lot of the people I know have trouble... They, they don't, like, multitask. They don't, like, listen to a show while doing something else or playing a game or whatever. They give, like, their full attention to the show. And there's nothing wrong with that, but, like, I feel like when I'm telling people, I just, like, watch the entirety of something. Uh. I don't know. It's making me sound, like, lazy. Like, all I do is just sit down and watch TV. And I, I should be clear, like, if I watch the entirety of King of the Hill, I mean, like, I had it on as I was, uh you know, doing all my art stuff while I was, uh, cleaning up the house, while I was, uh, just going or walking around outside. I had it on my phone when I was taking Christmas decorations down one weekend. I was doing yard work and trimming trees, stuff like that. I don't want to make myself sound busier than I am or anything, but it does just kind of strike me odd how many people lately have been saying, like, I can't do that. And I'm like, what do you mean, that? I mean, like, listen to something while I work on something else. And I'm like, why? I don't get it. That's how I've always, like, done stuff. That's why I can do all the things that I do. I feel like, oh, come on, I want to go back in there. I want to go back in there. Uh... I mean, that's what I used to do with Pokemon in high school. The reason I got level 100s at all was because I was able to take the Game Boy with me in front of the TV and, you know, just press A a bunch of times against wild Pokemon while watching uh, anime or whatever. <laughs> but, I don't know. I, I guess everybody is different. It doesn't work with ev everything. Like, someone let me eat Battlestar Galactica, and Battlestar Galactica was not a show I could listen to while doing something else, but, like, a sitcom or... Something like King of the Hill that I've, like, seen before. It's like, yeah, I could do that. I mean, that's that's probably why I don't really... As as much as I like getting into movies, that's probably why I just never get into... I've seen a lot of movies, because it's like, it is something I have to, like, sit down and pay attention to for, like, two hours, and I'm just, like, better at listening to something much more lighthearted that doesn't require my f sole attention for two hours while I'm doing something else. But, anyway, I digress. Someone else that had, uh, kind of hurt me pretty bad used to say that a lot. I don't think about her too much, because I guess in the grand scheme of things, she wasn't around in my life for as long as other people have been. But she was the first in, like, a while that had, uh, I don't know. I, I, uh, how, do, how do I explain it? Well, we're almost done with the episode anyway, so... I, I guess we can save that story for some other time. Shoot, someone's coming! Oh, we can't open our eyes, it's too dazzling. Let's take the gorgeous rainbow back. Sure, why not? D -d -d dazzling 65 crowns! Astounding! No wonder we're dazzled. Oh, but it was only 60%, though. 
Well, it's something that they have such a lot of crowns. Earth isn't a complete backwater, but there were more crowns. We saw them. Yes, we did, with our very own eyes. Oh, and we got a crown for ourselves, and now we can be the king. Guess what? Guess what this is? Already, let's just release it into the sky. Will do, king. So I guess with that, it's gonna be an episode. Yeah, I'm getting pretty hungry, too. It's... what is it? It's almost 2.30. I think, uh, 2.30 is a good time for lunchtime. So I'm gonna go and make... you know what? It's cold. I am gonna make myself a grilled ham and cheese sandwich. And then I'm going to take my dog out and get colder. And then I'm gonna come back in. I'm gonna make hot chocolate. I'm gonna get under my comforter, which should be done washing by the time this is all said and done. I'm gonna turn on the show I'm watching right now, which is Full House. <laughs> and I'm gonna cross stitch. God, could you believe I'm still single? Anyway, everybody, thank you all for watching. Uh, hope you all have a good day. See you again soon. I love this little wave he does when you quit. It's so cute. This is this song, too. I love this song that just this acoustic melody that plays when you're on the planet. Anyway, bye-bye, everybody.